Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, I'm Sister B and welcome to Islamic Audio Bites. And we shall be continuing our lessons from the book 30 Lessons for Those Who Fast by Ayyad Abdullah al Gharni, which can be downloaded from the Galamullah website. Let's read. Page 34. Lesson 7. The Islamic Home in Ramadan. Allah the Exalted and Power says, Which then is better, he who has founded his building on God consciousness and a desire for his goodly acceptance, or he who has founded his building on the edge of a water worn, crumbling riverbank, so that it is bound to tumble down with him into the fire of hell? For God does not grace with his guidance people who deliberately do wrong. Quran 9 verse 109. The Islamic home is one that is founded on God consciousness. Its pillars are the fear of Allah. Its foundations are good deeds. Its garden is obedience to the commands of Allah. He says, O you who have attained to faith, ward off from yourselves and those who are close to you that fire of the hereafter, whose fuel is human beings and stones. Lording over it are angelic powers, awesome and severe. Quran 66 verse 6 The home is a trust, a responsibility and a stewardship. Are there not shepherds who are conscious of their flock? The Prophet peace be upon him said, Every one of you is a shepherd and each one of you is responsible for that which is under his care. The stewardship of the home in Ramadan and out of Ramadan entails the ordering of its members to pray. Allah Almighty says he used to enjoin upon his people prayer and charity and found favour in his sustainer's sight. Quran 19 verse 55 The most pressing need of a Muslim home is an upright father and believing mother who undertake the upbringing of their offspring. Behold, God bids you to deliver all that you have been entrusted with unto those who are entitled thereto. Quran 4 verse 58 Surely, among the greatest trusts is that of improving the home. The Islamic home, therefore, passes Ramadan in remembrance, recitation, humility and fear of Allah. It is filled with the traditions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in food and drink coming and going, sleeping and waking. The Islamic home respects and observes the ethics of separation and covering. It worships Allah through this means and considers it a source of honour and dignity for the Muslim woman. Allah will reward its observance abundantly. Many homes have been tested with wealth. It corrupted the hearts of its members ruin their future and undermine their power. When wealth enters some homes, remembrance, inner peace, shame and dignity departed from them. Allah says, But among men there is many a one that prefers a mere play with words to divine guidance so as to lead those without knowledge astray from the path of God. Quran 31 verse 6 According to the scholars, the play with words here refers to music. How many examples are there in which music has abused values, derided principles and exhausted minds? The Islamic home arises with the remembrance of Allah and sleeps with his remembrance, far from vain and idle talk. The Noble Qur'an describes them as those who turn away from all that is frivolous. Quran 23.3 The Islamic home has a sense of shame before Allah. Hence, the Prophet peace be upon him said, O people, be chaste and modest before Allah. A true modesty before Allah is to control one's mind and its consciousness, to protect one's stomach and that which it collects, and whoever remembers the trials will abandon the ornaments of life and this world. Oh, how good it would be if the knowledge of religion 
were to enter the precincts of our Islamic homes to become gardens for forgiveness and acknowledgement. The home is in dire need of some important features. Foremost among them is the establishment of the five prayers at their appointed times, bowing and prostrating in humility and spirituality. It needs also the recitation of the Qur'an during the night and at extremes of the day. It needs the remembrance of Allah at daybreak and at dusk. It needs the revival of the traditions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, at every moment and opportunity. And it needs the expulsion of every folly and avoidance of vain talk and bearing of false witness. Allah Almighty says, Behold, as for those who say, our sustainer is God, and then steadfastly pursue the right way. Upon them do angels often descend, saying, Fear not and grieve not, but receive the glad tidings of that paradise which has been promised to you. Quran 41.30 And Allah grants firmness unto those who have attained to faith through the word that is unshakably true in the life of this world as well as in the life to come. But the wrongdoers he lets go astray, for God does whatever he wills. Quran 14 verse 27 Surely the month of Ramadan bestows upon the Muslim home spirituality and satisfaction. It awakens its members to stand in prayer at nights, beckons them to fast in the day, and encourages them to remember Allah the Exalted. It is they who truly follow God's revelation and are constant in prayer and spend on others secretly and openly out of what we provide for them as sustenance. It is they who may look forward to a bargain that can never fail, since he will grant them their just rewards and give them yet more out of his bounty. For verily, he is much forgiving, ever responsive to gratitude. Quran 35 verse 29 to 30. We ask you, who is the most merciful of those who show mercy, to fill our homes with faith, wisdom and tranquility. That was the end of today's lesson. Please do join us tomorrow for the next lesson and also share the podcast with your family and friends. We are on all the major podcasting platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Apple Music, and we're also on YouTube as a voice only channel. Please do join our Islamic Audio Bytes community on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and check out our website at islamicaudiobytes.com. If you'd like to contact us directly, please do so at sisterb007 at gmail.com. As always, hope our day is full of goodness. Assalamu alaikum.